hello hello welcome to all those who are new to my channel and welcome back uh, to those who have already subscribed today i thought to recreate the look from the song that is really trending all over the internet it's the song pangat from the upcoming movie ruhi so yeah i finished priming my face and now i'm priming my eyelids using some mac um, soft ochre paint pot and uh, next i would be setting uh, the primer with uh, some face setting powder i'm using the charlotte tilbury one uh, then as shown i am picking this light color to put in my crease so i'm doing half and half so i would be doing one look on one eye and the other look on the other eye blending the eye shadows to give it a more natural and seamless look taking some golden uh, pressed eye shadow and putting it all over the lid for the second look um, which is a very dark black smoky eye i'm putting some uh, pencil eyeliner all over my eye and then blending it with a fluffy brush as you can see blending 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 that's the key next i am setting that uh, pencil eyeliner with some um, powdered black eye shadow from the same palette i used earlier so i am patting it all over the eyelid so for that inner corner i am actually using a flat definer brush to get that black eye shadow um, all spread across evenly then i'm taking a fluffy brush and dipping into this pink color and as you can see in the picture that i popped on the screen janvi um in the song had some um blending in the crease going on with a pinkish purple shade so that's what i'm trying to do here going little by little picking picking the pink color in small amounts I'm just trying to blend it in the crease. I will be blending until I'm happy with the way it looks and the way it is diffused. Again, as I told you, um picked up some more pink and blending it all across my crease area. I'm also referring the photos on my um phone that's what i was doing there and then picking that brush again which had uh, black eye shadow on it next using some color corrector uh, on the usual areas um uh, i didn't really want to bore you guys with all these steps because um um i didn't do anything uh, different when it comes to the face putting some foundation and the names and links of all the products will be given in the description box below i'm using a beauty blender today to blend my foundation that's what i'm doing right here next putting in some under eye concealer and also trying to brighten up my face again using the same beauty blender to blend that concealer next setting the concealer with some cat von d's uh shade and light palette uh, i guess the shade name is lyric and setting the rest of my face using the charlotte tilbury one again um next i'm trying to bronze the natural looking side of the face a little bit um nothing crazy but on the smoky side um uh, as i could see from the um picture uh, janvi had really really sharp contouring going on so that's what i did for the smoky side trying to blend that contour and setting that contouring with the same bronzer i used on the other side of the face trying to contour my nose a little bit 
and then cleaning up the contour slash bronzer with the Kat Von D's powder because in the photo I could see that the that the contour was cut very sharply so that's what I'm trying to do here blending 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 Next on the natural side of the face, I'm using a peachy color blush as you can see on the picture that I popped up on the screen. It's very peachy, it's very glowy, it's very um, natural yet subtle. So that's what I try to achieve here. And I'm trying to put a little bit of an eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well. I know I didn't go um, um, really overboard as uh, I can see on uh, Janvi's look but um, I just tried to do my take on the eye look so that's what I'm doing right here putting in few more colors in the crease and blending them away using some light golden champagne color on my fingertip and putting it all over the eyelid to give it a more brightening effect next i'm using some eyeliner and um, i would be putting in some mascara oh sorry not mascara first eyebrows and on the natural side of course as the name suggests natural i'm trying to keep my eyebrows uh, very natural i'm just filling in the sparse areas but on the smoky side i am going for a much more darker um, eyebrow as I, as you can see in the picture that i popped up on the screen Next, I'm putting uh, some eyeliner on the lower lash line. Uh, as you can see in the picture, John P has a very uh, blown out lower lash line. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Putting in the eyeliner and then blending away. Next, putting some black eyeshadow, blending it with this taupey brown color eyeshadow from Huda Beauty's Rose Gold Palette. Tapping off the excess as always. blending 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 next I'm taking some white or bone colored eyeshadow and trying to put that on my uh, inner waterline uh, just to open up the eye I'm putting in some mascara on both of the eyes that's what you are seeing and will be seeing And on the smoky side, I would actually be putting in some eyelashes. Next, trying to use a very subtle highlighter on the smoky side of my face. But on the natural side, I'm trying to make it look as dewy and as um, glow from within kind of a look. Next, putting in some highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes. And then for lips also i'm doing half and half on the smoky side um, um what i could tell from jan b's look um the lipstick was very um nudie shade so i used max velvet teddy on the smoky side and on the natural side i used charlotte tilbury's glowing gen uh, that's what i am using here trying to make it even more glossy on the natural side so I'm putting a little bit of gloss setting my face and voila there you have it I hope you like it and I also try to recreate an outfit um, uh, inspired by Janvi and I also try to do some dance steps for you hope you like it I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye